parents and I guess dinosaurs have been gnashing their teeth with lots of questions about why their infants and toddlers tend to bite other people. Well, let me see if I can provide a mouthful of information on this particular topic. Biting is a common behavior for infants and toddlers. It may be because an infant is teething and has discomfort and needs to bite on something to relieve the pain, or it may be because they're using their mouth to explore the world. For toddlers, it may be to create a reaction, not realizing that biting can be painful, or because they're frustrated, bored, and as a result of seeking attention, will bite, even if the consequences are negative ones. So what do you do to head off biting? Well, if it's an infant, you can always give them a teething ring that's cold, or have them bite on a cool washcloth to take care of the teething. If it's a toddler and you see that they're getting frustrated, you might give them something to hold on to, like a stuffed animal that they can gnaw on or hold on to, rather than bite another person. If an actual bite occurs, well, that's a reason to put your child into timeout, separate them from the frenzy, and talk to them and tell them, biting hurts, we don't do it. And that way they begin to associate language with negative consequences. So if they're frustrated, they'll use language as well, rather than a physical action like biting. Another good idea is to lavish attention on the person who's been bitten rather than your own child. Because when your child sees they're not getting attention for that particular action, they're not going to do it. Very important, don't bite your child back. Bad idea doesn't work and it actually convinces your child that this is an acceptable behavior. If a bite actually occurs, my suggestion is wash it well with soap and water and if the skin has been broken, have the child or the person who has been bitten's health care provider be called so they can offer a prescription for an antibiotic so there's no infection at the site of the bite. So that hopefully tips like this will be easy ones to bite into when it comes to knowing a little bit more about what to do for your child's biting. This is pediatrician Dr. Lewis First from Vermont Children's Hospital at Fletcher Allen reminding you to always be first your kids.